days have so often seen action like this in the Super Sport Sprint races. And uh, for the first time, we've seen it live today, starting out straight away with Luke Stapleton's extraordinary save there. And uh, he was able to bring himself back into the points from that unpromising start. Uh, great result there from the young man from just, uh, well, actually about six miles from Mallory Park is where he lives. Graham Gowland uh, initially wrested the lead from hole shotter and pole setter Glenn Irwin. And number 82 coming well into the mix also was uh, the the absurdly underfunded and talented Herefordshire boy Luke Jones. Big moment there uh, for number 134 as he crashes out. That's John Dean, the Scotsman on the John Dean Racing Suzuki. That was unlucky for him. And then this happened to Graham Gowland. The last thing he wanted to do, having uh, damaged his shoulder earlier on. So he got out of the race, not the way that he wanted to, ejected from the race. Luke Jones, as he said, was putting everything into the brakes because he didn't have much grip coming out of the turns. But every time he launched himself deep in on the brakes, this kind of thing happened. Straight away, Glen Irwin would snatch the... Uh, would snatch the advantage back. So the green Kawasaki kept on grabbing the advantage from the white drive, and then that happened to the unlucky Jake Dixon, who was pressing hard in third place, and that left an elated Glenn Irwin to take his first victory in British Super Sport and to top the British Super Sport standings at the end of the first day's action here at Brands Hatch.